both of us that do not like olives. <laughs> Can you guess who that is? <laughs> Actually, welcome, welcome to Next Up. <laughs> Do you want a snack but not sure what to get? Maybe you want a protein cookie, but which brand tastes the best? You could try a couple and put your taste buds through the paces, or you could have fun watching us do it for you on Sample Saturday. Okay, well, um, best I, introduction I, ever. Yeah, I was. I thought only one of you didn't like it. You got derailed on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Turns out. <laughs> well, they were, it, I like the canned black olives. I hate all olives. Oh. I dislike them all. So I'll eat the canned black olives, <laughs> but not green or... It's really... <sighs> what are they called? What kind of olives are they called? People are just sad. They're green olives. They're green no, olives. no, no, no. They're called something else, I thought. Kalamata? What is it? Kalamata olives. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. However, yeah, I mean, does. they did give us these fancy forks. They did. Yes. They did. Look at these forks. These are called pickle forks. Pickle forks. So they're not really olive forks, but they're pickle Well, forks. they are pickle slash olive forks. You can use them for multiple things and multiple occasions. I would call it a different kind of fork, but apparently we can't say that. No, you can't. So. Um, and <laughs> just for those well, listening. Let everybody's minds figure out what my thoughts were initially. Well, uh, for those who are watching and listening, you can buy these forks on SampleSaturday.com. I'll even autograph them for you. <laughs> <laughs> like an etcher or something? Yeah. Or? Okay. okay cool. Well, today we have freestyle snacks. And these olives are grown in Greece. They are non-GMO. They are low calorie and gluten free. Per five, per, per four olives, it has 20 calories, 2.5 grams of total fat, and 230 sodium. It's a lot of sodium. So if you're sodium deficient, just eat a couple olives. Yeah. First, yeah, I... the first one, which is on your left, is lemon and garlic. Yep. Smells like an olive. Mm, yep. And lemon and well, garlic. You smell the like garlic. You ready for it? No. Mm. Not even a little bit. I love olives. Mm, That's my... one of the best Ooh. green olives I've ever I eaten. Mind it. And while you are chewing, there is, of course, the sample Saturday scoring sheet next to you, which you are to rank it based on taste, consistency, no. appearance, aftertaste, smell, and would you purchase it again? Now, these are only to help you come up with a ranking of yuck, blah, palatable, yum, or wow. And apparently I have to overcome my personal biases. So yes, you do. That's that. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to add that to the bottom of your personal bias. That's right. <laughs> well, All right. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Yeah. So it, the consistency was good. It was it was really meaty, rich. Mm -hmm. Um definitely obviously tastes like an olive, but yeah. The 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 uh garlic wasn't overbearing. It was balanced. Yeah. 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 I'll give them that. Definitely. And the lemon, it it added something to it without being, whoa, they use citrus on this. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the thing about it though is I I only thing I can compare it to is what I've had way in the past that I don't even recall what it tasted like. I just know that I did not like it. What was that? <laughs> olives. Like oh, just olives. a regular oh, yeah. olive. Uh, but I mean, it wasn't terrible. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right, George. Number feedback. Um, Do you know? Uh, no, I I <laughs> would agree that you were able to taste the different flavors. Yeah. Mm. With the um, I mean the the hint of olive. I mean, like some things leave a bad aftertaste. Yeah. Mm. I don't have a bad aftertaste. Right. I mean, there's a little bit of a taste, but not. It's not terrible. And it wasn't like it wasn't mush. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, I think, the key part. It was, it was yeah. not mush. It, yeah, it was a very good meaty texture. Mm. Yeah. All right, this I, one is uh, spicy something. Hot and spicy. Yeah, can tell that. Hmm. Wow. More of like a pepper jelly, hot. Very mild heat. Mm-hmm. It takes a while for it to kick in. Yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't, I mean, I like that one better than I like the first one. I'd agree. Really? Yeah. How so? Um, or honestly, like if you chop these olives up and just kind of combine them and mix them, mm. I think that might be a good mix. Yeah. The other thing I don't, uh, the I mean, the one thing that I like about this versus other green olives is green olives are usually very oily. Like they leave like a, a residue in your mouth of oil. Yeah, I wouldn't know. This 
Not at all. We're going to take your word for it because we would know. <laughs> we would not know. Yeah, we would not know. But yeah, I, I like, for example, I could put this on something hmm. and, um, you know, chopped up. If I, cho- if I chop this up, yeah. I could toss, put that into a salad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Well, you could put it in a salad. You could put it in some type of, I don't want to say salsa, but some kind of like. Oh, yeah. Like a um, bread or mm-hmm. well, garnish? You know, like when you got like the mango habanero yeah, kind of so like a, chutney or whatever you want to call it or mm, salsa ish yeah, looking so thing. Kind of like a garnish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could do something like that with it with these. Mm-hmm. I've actually had um a pizza with green olives on. So good. Mm. <laughs> okay. I mean I feel like I had to do it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone, everyone was doing it. Yeah, all the cool people. And and uh, Freestyle Snacks also sells a Kalamata olive in extra virgin olive oil. But these two olives that you two sampled are the unique flavors that they had. So yeah, we got these two. Now, based on uh, setting aside your bias for a, a little bit, uh, <laughs> how would you rank it? One through five, one being yuck, five being wow. You have yuck, blah, palatable, yum, and wow. Yuck, it's a tough one. Blah, palatable, yum, and wow. Because it wasn't disgusting. Yeah, no. But I'm not going to give it a wow. Yeah. I'm kind of torn either between a palatable or a yum. Like mm-hmm. kind of stuck in the middle there. I'm going to give I mean, it a. I'm it's here for me both ways. Right. Yeah. I'm going to give it a wow because it was not oily at all, which I usually don't like about other olives, and the flavor profiles were perfect. Yeah. I mean, everything like you mentioned, the balance of the flavors was spot on, better than I've ever had for a green olive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have to. I would have to let my wife try these because she. I'm not an olive, olive expert. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Like I would. Like I said, palatable yum. If I had something else to compare it to, or if I had a better knowledge of olives, mm-hmm. then maybe I could score a little better or be able to give you a firm decision. But yeah, I would still stick with like that in between. Okay. Pallium? <laughs> yeah. Pallium. Pallium. <laughs> Yummable. <laughs> I like that too. That's good. George, how about you? Um I would I would eat them. I would eat them if someone made something with these. I would I would eat it. Am I gonna go buy this? No, you know probably not. But right. I would eat them. So I would say for me it's more like a palatable. Um, just because I'm taking into account that I'm I'm not gonna go buy them. Yeah. But I would eat them. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's just like for me like I like hot sauce, mm-hmm. you know, but. A lot of times I'm too lazy to go to the fridge or whatever and get it. So I'm like, well, whatever. I thought you were going to say store, but. Right. Well, I mean, a lot of times we have. You know, but if my Next son, generation. If my, if my son brings it out, I'll I'll eat the hot sauce. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's there. Because it's an afterthought by that Yeah. Point. When I'm sitting down, when I sit down, I'm like, oh. It's time to eat. I don't want to get out. I just want to eat. You know. So if I'm already up, then I'll go grab it. But that's kind of like what this is for me. Like, I would, you know, if someone had it on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll throw it on there. Yeah, right. I prefer it probably cut up yeah. a little bit more, hmm. sliced um, or even like chopped. Yeah, minced. Yeah. Right. Whatever the term would be. Put that mm-hmm. on it. You know, be good. So okay. I just don't want to go with a yummable like you. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with a palatable. Okay. Like me. That's right. I'm palatable. You are palatable. You're actually you're kind of yummable. Oh, yummable. Okay. <laughs> you're yummable. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Alrighty. On that note. Till next time. Till next next time. time. Thank you for joining us this Sample Saturday. Is there a product you have a question about? Or maybe you have a suggestion for a future sampling? If so, post them on Sample Saturday's Facebook page. Till next time, this is Sample Saturday, brought to you by Fit Bodies Unlimited. Get fit, stay fit.